I remember the way I thought of the world when I was 20 and how I thought of the world when I was 30 and even how I thought of the world when I was 40. And it's interesting to look back at how everything and nothing can change at the same time. My name is Harvey Lewis. I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. I teach high school and I like to run. But who am I? Harvey Lewis, teacher, educator of some kind. I mean, he was even teaching classes here remotely when he was in Phoenix for like two days. Yeah, I think it's just a lot of people that love to run and push themselves. Time feels like it's moving so fast nowadays. The question of who we are gets lost in its relentless march. And so I run to slow down my world, to slow down time, so I don't lose sight of who I am. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona to run for 24 hours in an attempt to go further than I ever have. It's significant because I ran my first 24 hour race 24 years ago. I was 20 years old and at a very challenging point in my life. My mother had a severe stroke and at the same time I became a young father. I had to leave college, move to another state and start working full time. The future I thought I would have changed in an instant. Stacked Field, they all are on the top of the list for the 24-hour team. They, of course, Jake and Harvey, I'm sure, are trying to potentially increase their mileage to hold off this slew of contenders that we have. I mean, a lot of these guys are all vying for spots. I was overwhelmed. But deep in my soul, a desire started to swell, a desire to climb a mountain, to do something beyond myself, my soul's way of taking back control. I was living in the Twin Cities at the time, and there weren't any mountains. But I remembered years earlier seeing a 24-hour foot race, and it drew me in. It became my mountain. He's, he's caught a, his wind back. Uh, there was a point where he was moving uh, kind of slowly. He's walking for a few laps. And a lot of other people have struggled a lot worse than you, and they're back running well. So you'll get, you'll, you're, you're about to find a second year. You'll get a whole second half of the race. But uh, this is not his first, second, or third uh, uh, rodeo, so he seems to have recovered nicely. I had no idea how to run for 24 hours, but I had to do it. It didn't matter if I finished in last place. The result was irrelevant. I ran 81.25 miles that day. And somehow by doing that race, it made the other things I was facing in life so much easier. Welcome back, hello. It is, uh past 1 a.m. here in Arizona, about to end the third quarter of play. 24 years later, and I'm still running. 
I've run hundreds of races since that day, but I feel the same way I did all those years ago. I'm still climbing that mountain. I feel the same sensations. I feel the same emotions. It's uncanny. The past made the present. 24 hours in this overlap of time. Lewis is off course? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, he's, he's lying down on the, down behind his tent, so. I want to defy age, but age is like gravity. As much as we try to defy it, it's a force that pulls on us one way or another. I wonder how many more times I can do this. How long can I keep going further before my body starts to give in? And I don't know what that will mean for me. I want to hold on to time right now because I'm in a sweet spot, and I don't know if life could be better in 10 or 20 years. lying down behind uh, his aid tent and I said as soon as we're probably going to call it a day he's back out here apparently Harvey said he's signed up for 24 hours so that's what he's going to do in the dying hours I was able to let go of trying to control what was happening and just focus on running it was beautiful I was running fast and it was electric. I was looking to run 162.5 miles, twice what I did in 96, but I fell short. The distance wasn't all that mattered though, because out there on the track, I was able to connect with my younger self and have a conversation. And that conversation reminded me of the reason why. Mm -hmm. 